John Rothrina here. Uh, I'll talk to you today a little bit about injector sizing and uh, the appropriate injector to use for your horsepower application. Uh, we're going to use some basic formulas uh, located in our catalog and our DFI section. Uh, real good reference. Um, basically the formula we're going to use is your maximum horsepower times your brake uh, specific fuel consumption divided by number of injectors and your duty cycle. So what you're going to do, here's a formula here, just like I said, max horsepower. Um, your brake specific fuel consumption number you can get from this chart here. Um, you know, high compression, low compression, super turbocharged, gasoline and alcohol, both right in there. Just run through an example for you. Um, we'll say our horse power rating is 300. We're going to go ahead and times that by a number from our chart here. We're going to go ahead and take 0.5. So that'll give us 150. We'll go ahead and remember that number. Now what we're going to do is take the number of injectors. We'll say this is an eight cylinder. We're going to go ahead and times it by our duty cycle, which is a percentage of the on time of your injector. Maximum we want to see is 0.8, which would be 80%. So we'll take 0.8. That gives us 6.4. So now what we're going to do is take our 150 that we got before, divide it by 6.4. That gives us 23.4375 pounds per hour. So we'll go ahead and round it up. So for 300 horsepower V8, you're going to want a 24 pound injector. Um, our catalog is a good reference, gives you all these numbers that you need to calculate it. Uh, be realistic with your horsepower and you should be great. Uh, you might have noticed I'm using a fancy calculator here to uh, calculate my fuel injector sizing. Uh, this is a hot rod calculator by Mr. Gasket. You could use this thing to uh, do a lot of things as far as a gearhead would need. Uh, you can calculate engine stuff, uh, compression ratios. You could use it to uh, calculate ETs, uh, different gear ratio changes. The sky's the limit with this as far as a gearhead would go. This is very helpful to have in your toolbox.